Hey guys, it's A Automotive Reviews, and this is the 2022 Ford Maverick Stability Control and how it works. It was a very interesting video. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. The 2022 Ford Maverick Stability Control. How does it work? And before we get into that, let's go over some warnings. Vehicle modification involving braking system, aftermarket roof racks, suspension, steering system, tire construction, wheel and tire size may change the handling and characteristics of the vehicle and may adversely affect the performance of the electronic stability control system. In addition, installing any stereo loudspeakers may interfere with the with with it adversely and affect the electronic stability control system. Install any aftermarket stereo loudspeaker as far as possible from the front center console, the tunnel, and the front seats in order to minimize the risk of interfering with the electronic stability control sensors. Reducing the effectiveness of the electronic stability control system could lead to increased risk of loss of vehicle control, vehicle rollover, personal injury, and death. Remember that even advanced technology cannot defy the laws of physics. It's always possible to lose control of a vehicle due to inappropriate driver input for the condition. Aggressive driving on any road condition can cause you to lose control of your vehicle, increasing the risk of personal injury or property damage. Activation of electronic stability control system is an indication that at least some of the tires have exceeded their ability to grip the road. This could reduce the operator's ability to control the vehicle, and potentially resulting in the loss of the vehicle control, vehicle rollover, personal injury, and death. If your electronic stability control system activates, slow down. Now, how does stability control work? Now, if a driving condition activates either the stability control or the traction control system, you may experience the following conditions. The stability and traction control light flashes. Your vehicle slows down. Reduced engine power. And the stability control system has several features built into it to help you maintain control of your vehicle. Electronic stability control. Electronic stability control enhances your vehicle ability to prevent skids or lateral slides by applying brakes to one or more of the wheels individually and, if necessary, reducing engine power. Rollover control. Roll stability control enhances your vehicle ability to prevent rollovers by detecting your vehicle roll motion and the rate at which it changes by applying the brakes to one or more wheels individually. Curve control. Curve control enhances your vehicle ability to follow the road when cornering, severely or avoiding objects in the roadway. Curve control operates by reducing engine power and if necessary, applying brakes to one or more of the wheels individually. Traction control enhances your vehicle ability to maintain traction of the wheels by detecting and controlling vehicle spin, or must I say the wheel spin. Now how does traction control work? Which we already went over. Stability control indicator. First of all, let's look at the stability control. You have it. This is what happens around a curve. You have A, a vehicle without stability control skidding off his intended route. Oh no. And then you have B, the vehicle with stability control maintaining control on a slippery surface. Switching stability control on and off. Now the system turns on each time you switch the ignition on. When you shift the transmission into reverse, the systems are disabled. You can switch the traction control system off or on independently. See switching traction control on and off, in which we went over earlier. Now stability control indicator. Now the system turns on each time you switch the ignition on. You can switch off the traction control portion of the system independently. And this is the indicator and how it looks with the skid marks behind the car. Stability control troubleshooting. Stability control warning lamps. Now, if you see the vehicle and the, and the skid marks behind it, it flashes when a system is active. If it remains illuminated or does not illuminate 
when you switch the ignition on, this indicates that the system, there's a system error. During the system error, the system switches off. Have the system checked as soon as possible. Stability control off. You see off the letters OFF, and you see the skid marks in the vehicle. It illuminates when you switch the system off. It goes out when the switch when you switch the system back on, and when you switch the ignition off. So stability control. The one thing that caught my attention about this is that you can't put loudspeakers close because the sensors can sense vibration, and so therefore they don't want you putting anything in the center console up by the sensors. It can adversely affect the performance of the electronic stability control system. Wheels and tire sides, uh, braking systems, roof racks, they can all somehow in some way affect the system in a negative way. And if you go back over uh, road stability control, uh, that one enhances the ability to prevent rollover by detecting your vehicle roll motion. In the rate at which it changes by applying the brakes to one or more wheels. And then you have curve control. Now curve control enhances your vehicle ability to follow the road when cornering severely or avoiding objects in the roadway. Curve control operates by reducing engine power and if necessary applying brakes to one or more of the wheels. Which is something nice. These are cool systems, and then you have to be, again, without the stability control. It would be a total, total loss of control. And we've seen that before, you know, when they show examples of how stability control works. We see live examples. And I think I've seen an old commercial by Carwile where they did a Lamborghini Huracan. They turned off the system, and they turned it back on. Which is quite interesting. And this is what you see here. Just This is the same thing that happened. When you lose control. So whenever you lose control. And you have stability control on. This is what happens. In other words. It can save your butt. And the warning lamps. Again the skid marks. And the skid marks. And the off. Which is telling you that it is not on any longer. So this is the stability control. Of the 2021 our 2022 Ford Maverick in a nutshell, folks. Still 2021, but 2022 is a new year. And yes, it's the, the awesome Ford Maverick. And it tells you whenever these systems activate, remember to slow down. You guys, this is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. is a new kind of pickup. Versatile and capable. Built for makers and doers. Stunningly fuel efficient and built for tough. It's the truck for people who never knew they needed a truck. Here's everything you need to know about the all new Ford Maverick in just three minutes. Maverick is the first ever standard full hybrid truck. Maverick comes standard as a five passenger four door pickup available in XL, XLT, and Lariat trim levels. The standard 2.5 liter hybrid has a targeted EPA estimated rating of 40 miles per gallon in the city and 500 miles of range on a single tank of gas. The truck bed is a maker space. This flex bed system offers all kinds of organization and DIY solutions like vertical and horizontal slots for two by four and two by six boards that you can use to build your own bike racks, service bed dividers, or any number of other solutions. A multi-position tailgate and 10 available tie downs to secure your items. Two available 110 volt outlets, one in the cabin and one in the bed, can power phones, tools, and electronics. And a standard electric 12 volt DIY pre-wire package in the bed can be used for wiring lights and a four and a half foot bed, six feet with the tailgate down, can help haul bikes, furniture, or that next DIY project you're working on. Maverick has a lower ride height, which makes getting in and out a breeze. And most adults can reach over the side and easily grab whatever you need. It has a max payload capacity of 1,500 pounds and standard towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. And of course, 
Maverick is built for tough. The available 2-liter EcoBoost engine, which provides optional all-wheel drive, also has an available max towing package of 4,000 pounds. Maverick is built with smart technology like a standard embedded modem, which allows you to start, lock, and unlock your vehicle from your Ford Pass app. The standard 8-inch touchscreen also provides seamless integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Five selectable drive modes to help enhance performance and confidence in various driving conditions. It has Ford Copilot 360 technology like standard automatic emergency braking and auto high beams. As well as available adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, and evasive steering assist capabilities. This truck was designed with smart storage solutions to accommodate how people live. Like there's a place to store a tall one liter water bottle. Store your gear in the large bins under the rear seat, door pockets for stashing laptops or tablets, and bed storage for things like tools or rope. Maverick boasts a tight turning radius and compact size for easy driving and parking around the city. Maverick has city maneuverability with truck functionality. The truck is ingeniously designed to be customized inside and out to suit your lifestyle. And it delivers on the built Ford Tough durability and capability you expect. Finally, the all new Ford Maverick starts at just under 20 grand. To say automotive reviews, thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. But have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.